In the following video, I'll be showing you how to control a timer inside a PLC and using one HMI. So pretty much we're going to create a timer and then we're going to set up the preset value and then we're going to monitor what the, the actual value of, of, of that timer. So first of all, let's open our uh, PLC manual. And if, uh, if we go to memory map uh, under bit contact, contacts, uh, we're going to find the, the timer bits. And then we're going to see what are the different uh, scales that your PLC, your Delta PLC uh, model DBP uh, can, can work with. So memory is timers T0 through, through T126. They work at every um, uh, 100 milliseconds. So they will increment one value every 100 milliseconds. And then T200 uh, through T239 they work every 10 milliseconds so one increment every 10 milliseconds and timer 127 that works every one millisecond so the increments is every one millisecond and then there, there, there's all other uh, memories that you can activate to change the the scale for instance if you activate a uh, m1028 if you put that memory uh, on, then timer 64 through ti timer 126, they, they will now work every 10 milliseconds. So it will change from 100 millisecond to 10 millisecond. And if you turn on one uh, memory M1028, then mem timers uh, T200 to T T245, they will work every one millisecond. One thing to to notice is that if you want to work with seconds, or what, because here we don't have the 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 scales uh, to to work with second, what you can do is just make a division. If you use one of the timers that works at every one 100 millisecond, if you divide that by 10, that will give you the 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 roundup number in seconds. And we'll we're going to see that in a in a in a little bit. So remember go to your manual and go to memory map and you're going to find the the specifications for the different uh, timers so that you can use on your uh, on your on your PLC. So now let's go we to ISP soft. And the the program is really simple. So pretty much we have um, a contact which is which is a M0 and M0 0 will activate our timer. The timer value is T0. The preset value it's gonna be whatever D0 value is. And, and then once the preset value, once the, the sorry, once the, the actual value of the timer is equals to the preset value, the timer zero is gonna be activated. Once the timer zero is activated, that will trigger the output number 20, Y20 will be active. And Y Y twenty is one of our LEDs in front of our uh, of our uh, uh, practice uh, box. Now, if we want to to work inside the PLC with seconds, what you can do is just uh, do a division. So I'm going to insert a new network, and then we're going to to say to load M zero put one dot contactor and then we're going to make a division divide it uh, whatever t value is t0 
divided by 10. And then save that number into the 10. So pretty much it's a simple division and we, we're going to divide whatever it's on timer t0. We're going to divide that by 10 and the result is going to be st stored in the in in the device number 10 d 10 perfect now let's test it so i'm going to download we're going to stop for a while and then we're going to do the the download and then we're going to start it put it back into run then we're going to go to online mode online and then we're going to set up the the preset value right click change present value and we're going to set, set it to uh, 50 and 50 that will mean uh, five seconds because the remember this timer will trigger every 100 milliseconds so the increment is 100 milliseconds so that means it will give us uh, uh, by putting 50 that will give us uh, five seconds and uh, also we're going to divide uh, those uh, whatever values on in, in timers zero we're going to divide it by 10 and that will give us the actual seconds the roundup number in, in seconds once the uh, the actual value is equals to the preset value T0 is going to be activated and that will activate it, activate our output. So now let's put uh, M0 on. And we can see here the increments is every 100 milliseconds. And in here it's every second. So let me restart it just yes, so that you can uh, you can see it. So every second and every 100 milliseconds. Perfect. And when the, once the actual value is equal to the preset value, T0 is activated and the output Y20 is active. Okay, so right now this pro program is in our PLC. Now let's go to uh, DOP soft and we're going to, to I, I'm going to show you what, what I did here. So pretty much we're going to create a, a uh, maintain a uh, button which is this one and as for address we're going to reference uh, m0 we're going to address m0 and this is m0 so that will trigger uh, our timer perfect and as far as the um, uh, preset value we we created I created a, a numeric uh, entry, and I reference I address uh, D zero. D zero is this one, so we can change the the preset value. Perfect. Now for the to monitor what is the actual the current uh, value of T zero. I created this uh, numeric display and to uh, and I address uh, T0. So T0 is the, the address that I put to reference what what is the the current value of T0. And then to this indicator, which is a, which is a multi-state indicator will show when the the present value and the preset value are equals one is once it gets to the actual value of the timer gets to the preset value uh, t0 is going to be activated and that will change the 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 color of this indicator into green and if you notice here I reference the same link, the, the same uh, memory. When I wanted to, to see what was the actual, the current value of the timer, I reference uh, T0. 
but when I wanted to see once the time the the timer gets to the to the is equals to the preset value when it once it, it's finished I reference the same the same address and if you notice here in data tape this is a bit so w whenever you reference uh, the the word uh, did, uh, if you're not doing a numeric display or or like a a bar or a, or, or a meter which whenever you're working with the, the word and you reference t0 that will give you the the current value of of that timer but if you're using an indicator or something that works with the with a bit data type that will give you the the uh, the, the state whether to, to show you whether the the timer the the, the timer on, on, on that timer sorry the, the time if the timer is equals to the preset value in other words it will tell you when the timer is it's done so that's uh, something to, to notice I know that you know in other uh, software for instance in, in the micrologic there's a different address for this you have to reference uh, the timer and then dot and then en when, or when it's enabled or done or the um, the uh, ACC what, what's the current uh, volume but in and the delta PLCs you need you address this the same value the same address okay so let's uh, do a download and perfect so let me set up my camera okay so we have uh, the preset value which is we input uh, 50 that would mean uh, 5 um, uh, uh, five seconds so I'm going to change that into 10 10 uh, seconds so that will be 100 100 will give you uh, 10 seconds oh, also I need to show you here what I did here on this um, with this uh, numeric uh, display sorry I need to go here and show you because uh, remember that we inserted a uh, right now we in this box we inserted inserted a uh, 100 and that 100 is uh, actually 10 seconds so what you can do if you want to 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 see what's the uh, if you want that value to be converted into 10 seconds and then a decimal point what you can go is here into details go to and, and add a, a fractional if you add a fractional it will give you a decimal point uh, one place uh, away or two places uh, away so now let's go to 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 one place away and you can add a fractional uh, uh, a decimal point and that that way instead of, instead of um, showing display instead of displaying fifty or a hundred, it will display five point zero or ten point zero, and that's actually what I did here. So if if you notice, it will give you zero dot zero. So let me start it. I already set up to the preset value as the hundred, which is uh, ten millisecond. 10 seconds I'm going to start it this is the the what and what's the current value of t0 and it's inserted uh, a decimal point once it's done our indicators indicator and our our LED gets uh, activated so let me restart it so then and remember, if you want to work only with seconds without the, the decimal point, you can divide uh, this value into with divided by 10. That will give you just uh, seconds without the, the decimal point. 
okay and let me show you that because uh, in our program we did just that so uh, we we have to reference d10 so let me reference that i'm going to copy paste and i'm going to change the address to reference uh, d10 and then we're going to do the download we're doing download it's restarting and see so it's give you oh sorry let me remove the decimal point the decimal, decimal value double click it and no fractional just numbers and then sorry about that so i'm going to download it again perfect it's downloading and then it's going to restart perfect so it's just showing you showing you uh, that the uh, it's, it's not showing you any decimal uh, value so if you start it will work just it will give you just the 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 number in seconds once it's done the indicator gets uh, active so th that's how you control uh, control and monitor a, a timer with your PLC. If you have any questions, then don't hesitate to to put it on on the on the, co on the comments uh, below. If you haven't done done it, you can subscribe to this channel. So all of my videos in Spanish I will eventually translate it into into English. So th thank you for watching. If you like it, put a thumbs up. Thumbs up. And, like, and then if you want if you know someone that can benefit just share this video and link with them thank you so much